Don't blink it, your boy Ink. We got season two, episode twelve of The Office. Of course, it is the injury. So I had a lot of fun watching this episode. This episode to me was really fucking good. Um, I want to be clear. Um, in the last couple of episodes, I've been talking a lot of shit about Pam and Jim, but this is one episode where I think Pam really, really fucking shine. Um. And the office right now is becoming really fucking good because they're conscious of their writing. Um, small shout out to the MP3 player or the iPod player, which um, if you guys remember, um, in the episode of Gift Exchange, uh, Michael bought Ryan a iPod, and Pam was like, "Oh, Roy's gonna buy me one," and then he got her a cheaper version. So again, a testament of how Roy is not a good boyfriend, but a testament that they, hey, I remember we wrote this. I remember that we brought this in the show, and it might have been this season, but it's still worth something. It's still something that we appreciated. And even though I watched the other episode like a week ago, I still remember this episode. Why it's so good is because we have Michael. And Michael, you think that you saw everything about him. You think he's the weirdest human being. And you understand why he's the humus, humus, he's the weirdest human being. Until you realize that, dude, the guy burned his foot on a four-man grill, right? How does that make any freaking sense? And uh, I'm like, <laughs> it was crazy. And although I, 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 I saw episode. It is still astonishing to me how what his logic is. How like I said, bacon, bacon when he's waking up. Which, it does make sense. But don't fucking leave it on your bed, bro. Leave it on a, a foldable table. Who knows, right? This one was really cool because um, in a rush to, to get him, in a rush to save Michael, Dwight gets injured and have a concussion. And we actually see a really cool Dwight. And it's kind of crazy because it took Dwight a concussion to have a character dev development that is far positive. One of my favorite characters is Dwight. If not my favorite, I think my favorite is Dwight. Right? Um, this is an episode where we kind of see, we kind of see. So this is, this is going to be a bit of spoiler. I probably should probably say that, right? We see the same Dwight we see in season nine. We see a calm, collected person who's actually really kind. And he's helping Pam with their, um, with their, whatchamacallit. He's loving Pam with uh, her, not the iPod, I don't remember the name, but fuck it. And it is weird because, like, even in the show, Pam and Dwight are oddly really, really good friends. Um, there's a ton of time where Pam, she make, she, she, like, she's pregnant, right? And they, they point it out, and Dwight has her back, you know? And it's kind of crazy because Dwight is the first to answer and say, bro, she's a, she's a perfect. So there was this guy, uh, D'Angelo, right? And he was talking about how Pam was, like, a, not a good number. I think it was Packer, right? I don't remember. There was a character that said Pam wasn't attractive. And uh, Dwight's like, nah, she's super attractive. She's a, a 10 of Scranton. She's a good hearty woman, and that's why we love him. And Jim, which is her boyfriend, didn't say shit. But Dwight didn't have her back. So I thought that was cool that we're seeing this Dwight. I love this Dwight. Be more calm. He's more affectuous towards Angela, which we know they're, they're, they're banging. So the fact that he's more affectuous is kind of cute. It's kind of uh, nice. And you do realize that in a fucked up way, spoiler again, Michael leaves season seven. It takes Michael to leave for Dwight to be like, yo, guess what? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be my own man, right? And it's kind of cool that we're seeing that in concussion, we're kind of seeing this. So, if you haven't seen the rest of the season, a kind Dwight who becomes back an asshole, is you thinking a step back, a step, a step forward, a step backward. But no, in reality, is what Dwight truly is, and how he has to put on this, uh, this persona, right? And we have again a picture of. Dwight saying, oh, I'm there for Michael, and Michael at the hospital, Michael, who doesn't care about Dwight, uh, wound at all, he's just trying to fix himself, and it's kind of cool, because we got Ryan, who, again, Ryan is not my favorite character, this episode was really fucking good, really good, um, we got Ryan, who's not my favorite character at all, but we got Ryan, who knows how to take care of Michael, knows how to deal with Michael, even though Michael makes him very uncomfortable, and the crazy thing is, like, Ryan is the one that managed to help Michael. And Ryan is a new guy. These people have been working with Michael for years. 
and they didn't do shit for him. Now, if you're asking me, I think that it's because they kind of see Michael as this asshole who's inappropriate more than half the time. But if the guy is already an asshole, don't push him to become more of an asshole because of a wound. Right? We got the um, we got the it's. It's, it's super fun because we got the uh, Michael who has a seminar where he, 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 he calls himself a disabled and he brings in a real disabled person, right? And it's kind of cool because there's a Michael. So the disabled person says, "Oh, the par- the the handicap parking was 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 taken, and we don't know who did it, but we know Michael considered himself handicapped for that day, so we know that between the line it was Michael." He does a seminar, and uh, it's actually really positive, and it's kind of cool to see. Because, yes, it's a show, and yes, it's a character. And the guy, the actor, who knows is he really in a wheelchair? He, he possibly isn't. But it does showcase a um, more positive attitude, a more optimistic attitude for uh, handicap. And when I think about the handicap, I think of handicapable people, which are people that are handicapped but are capable of doing everything. And I have a lot more respect for somebody whose handicap is positive than versus somebody who calls himself a victim, which in this case is Michael, right? So we have the whole episode where, again, Michael is super funny, I call himself and he called himself handicapped. And again, um, I know I said that Ryan was the only one to take, take care of him, but Michael does tell people, you don't give a shit if I'm hurt, right? And then, Michael is a dick. Michael is not appropriate, but he's a human being, and he's your co-worker. He might be a dick, but if he's hurt, everybody has to pull him together, right? Um, there's a couple people I don't like at work, but if I, if they were to get hurt, I would I would react in a uh, worried manner because we're sharing something, we're sharing a life, right? And I think that me- I think that means something, and ultimately that leads to us having this discussion today, today having this conversation about this episode. So all in all, super solid episode. Um, I didn't forget much. I don't think I forgot much, right? Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It was really good. So if you want to watch, if you want to do selective watching, watch this one. It's really good. Love you guys. Peace.